Welcome to another video of AD4 on SPSS tutorials. Charts and graphs are very important in all research process. So today we are going to learn how we can prepare graphs and charts using SPSS. Let's move to SPSS. Open SPSS. Here I am going to use the same data base that we have had in the previous examples. So you can download this database. I have already given the link in the description section below. So these are the different variables, employee code, gender, employee category, current salary, salary beginning, months since hire, that the experience of employees in the current organization in months and the previous experience in months. So this is the data view. I have already entered all the data. You can see 474 employee details. So for preparing graphs, here there is a menu for graph, graphs, then chart builder. This is the chart builder window. So here the gallery of charts. So first of all, I am going to create a bar chart. So this is a bar chart. Just drag and drop it here. This is a chart preview window. This is a chart preview. So I am going to create a gender graph. So drag and you can place the variable here. So you can see the gender. So gender graph is here. So this is a simple setup of preparing a bar chart. So click OK. This is the bar chart representing the gender variable, female and male. This is a count of male and female. This axis shows the category male and female. So for more modification of this chart, you just double click the chart you can see a chart editor. This provides a lot of facilities for modifying or editing your graph. For example, if you want to change the axis, you can, this is a window you can see here. Just click here, you can change the axis. Now, this bar chart looks differently from that of the default one. So you can click here, you can convert into previous position. And click it here, you can see the data label mode. Click here and then click the bar. You can see the data label. 216 female and 258 male. So this way you can finalize it. So just close this chart editor. We can see the modification in the original chart. So you can edit the chart by double clicking this chart. We can move to a chart editor. We can make the modifications here. Here I am going to close this chart. Next, I'm going to prepare a histogram for example. Histogram is very important because histogram is normally used to depict the distribution of variables. So just click the histogram, basic histogram plot, then drag it here. So you can place x-axis and y-axis. Here I am going to place the gender in x-axis and I am going to uh, current salary, for example, in the y-axis. So this axis represents the current salary, here represents the gender. Here you can see you can change the mean of current salary or median of current salary or mode of current salary. Here I am going to select the mean of current salary. So here mean current salary. The average current salary represents the y-axis and x-axis represents the gender. Okay, so click OK. You can see female average salary, then male average salary. Get it? Then double click. Now this is a chart editor window. If you want to display the mean value of current salary, you can just click it here, show data labels. Just click, you can see the data labels here. Close this window. This is a 
mean salary of female and this is a mean salary of male so this way you can prepare the bar chart sorry the histogram of the mean salary close it now take graph chart builder the histogram here i am going to place the current salary that's it because i want to uh, know the distribution of current salary in the organization okay so only place the x axis as a current salary and click okay you can see the distribution of current salary get it here we are only assigned the current salary as the single variable that going to represent the graph x axis represents the current salary then y axis represent the frequencies okay so double click this chart so if you want to display a normal curve within this graph you just click here this is a show distribution curve this is a distribution curve get it so you can place the distribution curve here so you can identify what is the nature of the distribution of the uh, variable that is current salary uh, within this data so here you can see different types of chart you can represent it here you can uniform chart you can represent then poisson chart or you can select the chi square chart if you give the degree of freedom in this column you can see a chi square chart also this way you can place the curve within the histogram so this is a way then close this graph automatically the uh, chart will display the normal curve so you can assign this normal curve here so double click this chart you can print you can assign the legend then click here a b symbol show legends so just close it here mean value of the salary standard deviation of salary number of employees get it then close it here you can see the legend here this is a legend this is a normal curve the mean salary of employees is 34419.57 and the standard deviation is 17075.66 and the number of employees or sample size is 474 so this way you can prepare the histogram histogram is very important category of charts next we are going to prepare a pie chart this is a pie chart going to prepare the pie chart so drag and drop it here so you can assign one or more variables here i am going to assign the employee category i am going to assign it here employee category you can see three employee categories are there so just click ok you can see the employee category here this color represents sales and red represents finance and the green represents hr so if you want the legend so if you want the category percentage you just double click then move to the chart editor so the same way you can click here the show data labels just click it here then close you can see the data labels can explode the areas of pie chart by clicking this window just click it here you can see the explode pie chart different area then close it you can see this like so this is a different percentage of departments in the organization get it next graph chart builders we can use scatter plot is very important you can identify how the variables are scattered within the table so just click the basic scatter diagram so just drag it here here i am going to select the gender in the bottom axis and uh, current salary in the y axis okay then click okay you can see the scattered diagram here it depicts the male and the female salary scattering you can see male salary is highly scattered and female salary is very low scattered so double click it here you can change it to like this this is uh, more legible you can see the salary current salary the scattering is like this this is a uh, one salary point this is other salary point this is other salary point like this you can you can see the female salary scattering is very low but male sal salary is scattered in a very high level so this way you can display the scatter diagram uh, of different variables 
So close this window. No. This way you can prepare different types of graphs and charts which is apt for your research. So the link of the database I have already given in the description section. Download it and practice it. I hope you enjoy this video. Share this video to your friends and colleagues and don't forget to subscribe my channel and uh, press that bell icon for latest updates. So see you on next video. Thank you.